G'day everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, some more Revit. Um, uh, uh, little message, thank you to all the new subscribers for, for rocking up. Um, a new one today who um, asked a pertinent question, so I thought, well, rather than uh, going on with the project, we'll, we'll resolve his question, because I thought it was, a, it was quite a pertinent one and something we haven't really covered, so. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new project very, very quickly, and um, we'll use it just as a blank template. So um, here we are, default splash page in Revit. Okay, um, if I go say new here, oh there we go, construction template. Doesn't really matter which one we open, I'll just use an architectural template. Go okay. Wait for it to all spool up and uh, get cracking. Okay, so there we go. So here we have the um, uh, just the default um, setup. Okay, so um, the question was property lines or boundary lines. How do we get those into um, the project? Or let me refresh that. The question was asked: How do I, you know, could I provide the default CAD file? for um, one of my previous lessons and uh, it was a little bit difficult to do but that default that basically prompted me to talk about property lines should somebody not have um, a CAD file to work from okay so we're in um, ground floor plan let's make a start from here and see what happens so what we need to do is we need to go to the um, in our ribbon we need to go up here we need to go to our massing and site tab um, remember if you are Revit LT you'll only have the site aspect of this. Okay, so we've got a model site here and then we've got a modify site. So what we can do here, so here we've got a button called property lines. Or property lines. So we're just going to click on that there. Okay, so what this does is it says, right, do we want to, um, or how would we like to create these property lines? Okay, so we can enter by distance and bearings um, or we can create by sketching. Um, I said, we'll do this one first here. So create by sketching. Okay. Okay. This is the one we would use if we had a CAD file underneath. Okay. But very, very quickly, I can basically use my line tools and, you know, create um, some boundaries. You know, I can chuck an arc in there as well. Yeah, you can imagine that's almost, you know, there could be a court or something like that here. Okay, so there it is. So that's a very, very basic sketch. And um, if I go click the green tick here, there we go, we get our property lines there. And um, to take that a little bit a step further, if I go to the annotate tab, okay, so what we can do is we can actually tag um, these property lines. Okay, so if I go in here in this section here, which is tag, and I go tag by category. Hover over that line, there we go. Left click to drop that, tells us the bearing and the distance for that particular property line. So I can left click all that all the way around. What's it do with an arc? There we go. So it tells us probably from there to there in a straight line what that uh, bearing is. And that arc could be basically the 7.59. Okay, so that's one way of doing the property lines, and that's the assumption that you know what you're starting with. Um, um, oh sorry, well, you've got some to draw over. Okay, so, but let's just delete that. We don't want that anymore. Okay, now before I go into um, Mass Insight, okay, we'll go back in there. Okay, and let's just do a quick double check here. Righty ho, this is where we wanted to go. So in our Mason and Site tab, in Model Site here, there's a little arrow down there, which brings up some additional settings. Okay. And what we want here is at the bottom here, which says Property Data. Okay. So we have two settings here. So this is the angle display. So we have degrees, or degrees from north-south. Okay, or northings and southings, I believe it is. Okay. Um, in Australia, uh, we stopped using northern southings um, many, many years ago. 
okay so but so I'm going to change that now just to the default degrees there so if I just left click on that okay my units um, degrees minutes seconds is fine um, we use, still use that a lot in Australia okay and I just want to apply those settings and then I'm just going to close that down okay now what we can do is we can repeat that property line um, command property line there and now we can say create by entering distances and bearings so left click there so this is what we would use if we say we had plan of subdivision you know a PDF or a paper copy of it we knew the written value of the distances and bearings but we have nothing to copy onto our plan okay so this is one way of, this is how we could do that okay so at the moment we have a, a distance here and a bearing okay now just take into account that north zero is up the page so at the moment um, so if I change the distance to say oh, 30,000 millimeters at 90 degrees okay it's going to shoot a line from there to there that's the theory okay so now what we're going to do is I am going to insert another one okay so that's 30,000 down so this one here I'll say 15,000 and we'll change our ooh, degrees to 180, to 180 degrees so the theory is that if we've drawn a line up here this line should shoot down this direction okay a um, little additional bit of information there see where it's left or right so this is going right so it's going clockwise let's insert another one to match this here okay 30,000 this time we have to go 270 degrees because we want to go to from right to left and insert one more excuse my pause there Ooh. Got to click in there, got to click in there obviously to um, 15,000, let's chuck a decimal in there and that one should be 0 degrees because we wanted to go off the page okay, it says there we've got to add a line to close so say for some reason our information we were given by the survey wasn't quite right we could finish that off with a little line to close it so if I just go OK, there it is Okay and to check that information okay we go back to our annotate tab go tag by category one two three and four so there we go 90 degrees 30 meters 180 15 270 and zero okay so we started here we've gone in a clockwise direction to create that property line Okay, so we'll leave that there. Um, hopefully that's um, helped answer a couple of questions and um, we will see you later.